Today's video tip of the day is yet another tip on biceps training. Well, let's face it. Who isn't interested in building bigger biceps? They're the most impressive and most uh, easy to see muscle on the body. And it's the one that people ask to see whenever they realize that you lift weights. They don't ask you to flex your delts or your pecs or your quads. Whenever they say make a muscle, you know it means this. Now I talk a lot about building biceps peak and, and uh, how to focus more attention on the outer biceps head or the inner biceps head. And the outer head is the one that makes up most of that peak. So I have a lot of tips for how to focus more on that long head because who doesn't want to build a better looking peak? While genetics play a big role in biceps peak, you can still improve yours by using those tips. Now that's not to say that the short head should be completely neglected. That inner head is just as important to develop as the outer head. You want well-developed biceps, like any muscle group. You don't want to have huge uh, long head with a lacking uh, short head because then your bicep's going to look narrow and thin and, and that just doesn't look right gives it the roundness on the inside. So make sure you also do exercises to focus on that short head of the biceps. I already gave you one example, which is the preacher curl, because bringing the arms in front of the body, remember to focus more on the long head, this outer head, you bring your arm behind the body because it stretches that muscle and a stretched muscle can contract with more force. When we bring the arms forward, like in a preacher curl, you're now creating slack on the long head, but because the short head doesn't cross the shoulder joint the way that the long head does, there's no slack on the short head. So now the short head takes up the majority of the weight that you're lifting and more focus gets placed on the muscle fibers in that short head. So it's like preacher curls, where arms go in front of the body, great way to hit that short head. Now, one trick I've talked about for focusing more on the long head is to turn the arms in. So, a closer grip on the bar. When you curl the arm turned in, due to the biomechanics, the long head takes on the majority of the load and becomes the muscle that gets the most emphasis. So, now the opposite applies when you turn your arms out. So, the trick I want to show you guys today is with barbell curls and using a wider grip to focus more on that short hip. So with the barbell curl, now about a shoulder width grip, natural grip, has been shown with EMG studies where we look at the muscle activity involved, has been shown to be pretty even between the long head and the short head. The short head might even take on somewhat of the majority of the load uh, in this position. But then to bring the hands closer, like I said on the bar, so going more with a hip width uh, grip or closer even, if you, if you can stand it gets a little bit cumbersome, can help to focus more on the long head. So you get a little bit more involvement from the long head when you're using a close grip and barbell curls. It's not erasing the help from the short head, it's just placing a little bit more emphasis on that long head. That can help you build a better biceps peak. Now going wider than shoulder width starts turning the arms out and that places more focus on that short head. So the key is always to develop well-balanced muscle. A muscle like the biceps which has two heads you want to focus on hitting both those heads fairly evenly, unless one of those heads is far more developed than the other, or you, you, know, you really want to focus on maximizing your peak development, or you have a great peak, but now you want to build some more thickness and you want to maximize your development of the inner head or the short head. So you want to pretty much use a variety of grips on barbell curls. I typically mix it up a bit when I'm doing them. Uh, I find that I have to lift more with a wider grip. So I'll often start in with narrow and for like, you know, first set, second set, might go a little uh, wider, 
third set might be a hit with and then might do a final set with the arms a bit wider. Or if you find for some reason that you're quite the opposite and that you're stronger with a closer grip, you can go start wider and then work your way in. That way you're getting into a more biomechanical advantageous position with the arms so that you're getting in a stronger position as you fatigue and continue getting more reps in that rep range that you're shooting for. But give that a try next time you train biceps. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to let me know how you like it. And as always, guys, be sure to stay Jim Army strong.